Hello, I'm going to show you how to access activities for your child while we are learning online. This is a calendar example for first grade. If your child is in pre-K, K, or second grade, it will look very similar to this. Some parts might be a little bit different. I wanna walk you through this because at first glance, it can seem very overwhelming. As you can see in this calendar, we have activities set for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. This top portion of the calendar is for reading and writing for the week of April 6th. And as I scroll down, here's my calendar for math for the week of April 6th. And then I also have a calendar for Encore. I'll walk you through each section of the calendar. Please note that anything we share in this calendar should not frustrate your child. If it does, please just abandon the activity. We are asking students every day to listen to a story online. For the purpose of this video, I'm just going to focus on Monday. On Monday, your child will click on this link to an online story. When I click this link, it brings me to Storyline Online, which is a free service where famous actors and actresses read books. Simply click on the play button and listen to the story. When you first log on to this platform, you may be asked to choose to watch the video via um, YouTube or Google Play, you get to choose how you want to watch it, but it is free. After your child listens to the story, we're asking them to talk to a family member about their favorite part. Once that is complete, we're asking them to do some writing for 20 minutes a day. This writing is connected to the book that they listen to. First graders were learning how to write about beginning, middle, and end of stories. So that's what we're asking first graders to do during this first week. They will draw and write about what happened in the story they just listened to. This prompt will change weekly. We're also asking students to practice some reading for 15 minutes a day. Your child does not need to do all of this at once. Please have them take breaks in between. This reading is set up in different groups. Your child's teacher will let them know which group they are in. If your child is in the Tigers group, they would click on this link to find a copy of a book that they've already read with their teacher in small group. For instance, when I clicked on the Tigers group, it came to this book titled Rubba Dub Dub. Children in this group, again, have already read this story with their teacher. As I scroll down, I can find each page of the book. You can listen to your child read, you can take turns reading page and after page. You can act out the stories. Again, this is something that should be familiar to them. This section of the calendar might look different depending on what grade level your child is in. Your child's teacher will let you know if it's different than this one. We're asking children to practice their reading for about 15 minutes a day. We're also asking students to practice some sight word practice for five minutes a day. Your child's teacher will include a link to a fun game that they can play online. The last portion of the reading and writing calendar is iReady Reading. iReady is an online platform that your child has been using in school since day one. When they click on this link, it will bring them to a page where they will enter their username and password. I'm going to show you what that looks like. This is the page here. Your child's username is their student ID, 
or simply the number that they use every day when they get lunch at school. Their password is uppercase S, lowercase P for Springfield, uppercase S, lowercase P, followed by their six digit birthday. So for instance, if their birthday is May 2nd, 2014, their password would be uppercase S, lowercase P, 050214. Once they're here, they'll log in. This brings me to a page where there are other applications that your child can use. In our calendar, we're asking students to practice iReady, so they would click on this link here. Once they're here, your child would choose reading to practice their 15 minutes of reading. When we look at the math calendar, you'll see that there's going to be another link for iReady math practice, and your child would simply click this link. When I scroll down for math, I can see that we're asking students to practice some math fluency for five to 10 minutes a day. Your child's teacher will include a link to a fun online game that they can play. This portion of the math calendar includes a video that your child will watch every Monday. They will log into iReady to watch that video. And then on Tuesday, they will have a copy of one of their workbook pages for them to practice what they learned in that video on Monday. I'll click on this link so you can see what that looks like. This is simply a page from their workbook from school where they would practice filling in the blanks here. You can print this out if you have a printer at home. If you don't have a printer at home, your child can answer the questions on a blank piece of paper. We are also asking students to practice that iReady math part um, of their iReady online platform for about 15 minutes a day. I'm gonna go back to where I was earlier to remind you. This is their reading and then this one's their math. I'm gonna click on math so you can see. On this side of the page, is where your child will find that video that they'll watch every Monday. And then on this side of their page, this is their path, and this is where they'll do that extra 15 minutes every day online. Again, here's that video, and then here's where they'll practice every day. If you're unsure of how to do that, I've included a video link here, so you can click on this when you get your calendar to remind you how to log in to iReady. The last portion of this calendar is Encore. Um, for right now, I have a link to Miss Netherwood's YouTube page. I will include links as when you get your calendar for physical education, art, music, and technology or science as well. When I click on this link, it brings me to Miss Netherwood's YouTube page where she teaches the first graders their dance moves. Check it out, it's really awesome. Again, everything that's included in this calendar should not be at any child's frustration level. If it is, please reach out to your child's teacher to let them know. If you have questions, please send your child's teacher a message on Class Dojo and let them know what your question is. Make it fun, make it relaxing, um, and please let us know if you have any questions. Thank you.